back in, taking it out, and then running it uh, iteratively, uh, and that's time consuming. But if you just paste this syntax, and then copy and paste uh, the syntax in the syntax file, you can do it a whole bunch of times and just change the name of your dependent variable to whatever it is. So in this case here, verbal 1, verbal 2, verbal 3, and imagine if I kept going through memory and spatial subtests. Well, I could do that 20 times if I wanted to, and I could do it very efficiently by running and selecting uh, those um, relevant syntax commands. So SPSS has just done three GLM um, ANOVAs, and I didn't select it to do the, the eta squared, but had I done so, it would have just added that element of the syntax, and I could do the GLM ANOVA over and over again, and of course I can save it, save this file. So that's uh, one way that I find myself using syntax quite frequently, is to redo the same analysis over and over again in a quick way. Uh, so those are two big advantages associated with uh, syntax. Uh, another big advantage associated with the SPSS syntax is that you can do analyses through syntax that are simply not available through the GUI or the menu-driven approach. And a really easy one that I, that's related to something I've done already is with a correlation matrix. Now suppose you didn't want a full square matrix. You only wanted a streamed line correlation matrix associated with the last three variables. So I just added the word with inside the variables command line. So I just run that selection and now I get a different looking correlation matrix that only has these three variables. So that's a decent advantage. It's not a huge one, but there are some big ones, like related to MANOVA. You can do MANOVA through the graphical user interface in SPSS, but you miss a lot of information, and in my opinion, you lose a lot of very important information doing so. But if you do uh, MANOVA through syntax uh, by using these commands, MANOVA verbal 1, verbal 2, these are my dependent variables, verbal 3, and I'm just doing this as an example, I'd actually add more, but independent variable, uh, independ no, it's not independent variable, it's uh, education level. So it is an independent variable, but that's not the name of it, by 1, comma 3, and then discrim uh, all. All right, so this is just very basic um, syntax, but it does something quite sophisticated and, and important. And I'll just run on that, and hopefully that works, and I didn't actually miss anything. Oh, I did make a mistake. Uh, why is it telling me that? By, oh, geez, I've got two bys there. That's one negative of the syntax. It's very easy if you're not paying attention closely to make a mistake. But the um, syntax responder is actually getting better and telling you where you're making a mistake. So here's output from SPSS syntax. Now, all, not all syntax output looks like um, this old style of syntax, but in the um, MANOVA case it is. And you're getting some this, uh, discriminant function coefficients, which are really important in the interpretation of a MANOVA. And you just can't get this through the GUI. I have a full series of videos on MANOVA that I encourage you to check out if you're interested more on MANOVA in SPSS. But this is just one example of analyses and results that you can't get through the GUI. That's a big, big advantage uh, to knowing how to do syntax in SPSS. And something I'll point out is that if you ever needed help with syntax, you can always go into the sy command syntax reference guide, which is a huge PDF document associated that comes with SPSS, 